This two-story Mediterranean-style house at 100 Mulberry Street was built in 1922. It was designed by Harry E. Boyd and cost about $40,000 to build. The house has eight rooms, three baths, and approximately 4,000 square feet. The exterior of the house is stucco over tile and contains floors of brick which were originally covered with white tile. The house features a Palladian-inspired inset entrance and windows on the first floor, wide overhanging eaves, and coupled brackets. The garage was built with a similar design as that of the house and contains the apparatus for the residence's vapor heating system. There is also a laundry room and servants' quarters in the garage. The owner of the house was Phelps Darby. Darby was born on October 17, 1881 in Evansville and lived here with his wife, Susanna Eigelhart Darby. They had no children. Susanna was the daughter of Addison Eigelhart of the Eigelhart Brothers Milling Company. Darby studied law at Indiana University and was on the IU basketball team where he served as captain of the Hoosiers in 1902. A few years after graduation, Darby returned to join Indiana's law school faculty as a specialist in bankruptcy law. He practiced law in Evansville for 53 years. His first partner was J.D. Wellman until his death in 1939. Their office was in room 21 of the Businessmen's Association building, located on 2nd Street, where Fifth Third Bank now stands. Four years later, in 1943, Darby formed a partnership with William T. Fitzgerald. Darby retired from the practice of law in October 1956 and died only six months later on April 23, 1957, at the age of 75.